In a previous example, we explained how to use the Quick Palette Maker 5 feature for creating custom palettes based on a specific shipment. Here we will run that, that um, feature again, but uh, addition, in addition to that, we will adjust some boxes on the palette using the layer editor to make sure that they fit well and they are stable. So first thing we do is load the boxes. The boxes are loaded. We make sure that all of them can be stacked under each one of the dimensions, length, width, and height. You can see the description here of the boxes. And we will calculate them using the advanced input options feature. New palette. Put a range up to 110. From 80. 40 to 60 in width, and we keep the height at 86. Okay, so we see here that the default um, palette arrangement was able to fit all the boxes, but they are very unstable and this cannot be shipped this way. So what we'll do is use a layer editor. If we click on it we see that one of the boxes is just on the edge of the other one. It will fall. So we use the layer editor. We change the view. many times as possible to see the and we will move these boxes to the side. We can click on them and move them or we can just enter the dimension here, 4 inches. Cli use organized boxes and they will appear on the second layer. So what we did here was to move the these green boxes were on top in such a way that it will create a more stable load. We can even stabilize it a bit more here. So let's go to the layer editor again. Okay. Now this we can put create a detailed report and we can show the palette views and that will give us the contents of the palette. 